Good afternoon, and welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Um, let me see. As a reminder, please silence your cell phone and any other mobile devices you may have. Uh, also, immediately after the Mass, a security officer will be at the bronze doors and the south ambulatory, that's over here, uh, to provide you with, uh, with parking validation. The validation will be good for 90 minutes. All right, please stand and join in singing our entrance hymn found in your Red Hymnal Songbook, um, number 521, O Come All Ye Faithful, number 521. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today we uh, celebrate the uh, memorial of St. Basil the Great and Gregory Nazianzen, bishops and doctors of the Church, and the entrance center antiphon. Let the peoples recount the wisdom of the saints, and let the Church proclaim their praise. Their names will live on and on. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred feast. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have rarely seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May our God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. pray. O oh God, we are pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops St. Basil and Gregory. Grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He made us eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from Him remains in you, so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But this anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false. Just as He taught you, remain in Him. And now, children, Remain in Him, so that when He appears, we may have confidence and not be put to shame by Him at His coming. The Word of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all your lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. 
So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. Why do you have to say for yourself? He said, and the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize? You are not the Christ, or Elijah, or the prophet. John answered them, I baptize with water. But there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptized. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, at the um, passage of the Gospels this first day of the year present to us the, the testimony of St. John the Baptist. It's happening in a couple of days as we begin this new year. And the gospel today begins with these words. This is the testimony of John. They asked him, who are you? And he answered them, saying, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. And he tells them, as we just heard in the passage of the gospel, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, the sandal strap I'm not worthy to untie. So he's sending them, obviously, to Jesus. And my dear brothers and sisters, this is what the Christmas season is about, going to Jesus, receiving Jesus. Loving Jesus. And as we know, the uh, Christmas season uh, goes all the way to this coming, uh, to the feast of the, of the uh, this coming Sunday, the feast, feast of the baptism of the Lord. So it is an excellent time as we just celebrate Christmas and I start in the new year to continue uh, making sure that we center our spiritual life in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is also what the first reading of today's Mass from the Apostle John tells us. And now, children, remain in him. That when he appears, we may have confidence and not be put to shame by him at his coming. So again, we are called to be with Jesus. And this is the best resolution for the new year, to continue growing in our personal relationship with Jesus. One of the saints that I especially admire, Saint Jose Maria Escriva, advises us, do not be afraid to call our Lord by his name, Jesus, and to tell him that you love him. And Saint Basil and Saint Gregory are a wonderful example for us as we start the new year. They said, a great pursuit, the great name we wanted, was to be Christians, to be called Christians. For St. Basil and Gregory, this, they were close friends themselves, but they're also very close friends in God. So to be Christian was the greatest of the identity. So today, as we receive Jesus in Holy Communion, let us especially ask for the grace to be always close to him. to call him Jesus, and to tell him that we love him. Let us receive Jesus and then go forth and witness to our belief in him through our words and actions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Please stand for the praise of the faithful. My brothers and sisters, we hope in the abundant goodness of our loving God, we bring to him our cares and concerns. That the Holy Spirit may inspire in the church modern day prophets who will proclaim Christ boldly and effectively. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant to those in authority the humility to be truthful rather than ambitious. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may bring consolation and firm hope to all who are suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may give to our faith community the grace to be his hands and feet in service to our neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may soon be cleansed of all rem remnants, remnants of sin, so as to enter the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we bring this request to you, confident that you will grant them according to your holy will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Please um, come forward and drop your donations in the baskets provided at the foot of the altar. Thank you. Our offertory hymn is number 527, Silent Night, number 527. Please join in singing.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord. And make what is offered for your glory in our Saint Basil and Gregory, a means to our eternal salvation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is your right and just our dear in our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the world made flesh, a new light to your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind. That we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up to him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. in the Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this case we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for us, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have fellows worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Glory, my word, be as and enter on my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be. Say what Christ can say. Please join in singing our communion hymn number 554, the first Noel. Number 554. Five, Thank you. 
Let us pray. May partaking of the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase his strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of St. Basil and Gregory, that we may persevere in integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. So let's keep uh, celebrating Christmas, reflecting on how the center of our Christian life is uh, our personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so happy Christmas season and happy New Year. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.